I watched the Marvels finally, and I had to take a couple days to get myself. I I know I watched it yesterday, and then um, yesterday I got um, I watched the movie. The Marvels. It's a decent good movie. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually better than everyone else thinks. The problem is, thanks to the orders of Bob Chapek, who thankfully is no longer there, they cut the movie way too short. They should have elongated it. <clears throat> I love how they made Nick Fury a little softer, made him a little lot like. We see a, 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 a better Fury. We see a more ground, well, besides him being a space shuttle, uh, in a headquarters in outer space, which we saw in Spider-Man Far From Home. <clears throat> Spire, um, Nick Fury is a lot more happier after the events of, um, Secret Invasion. Which we found out was set after Endgame. Like right around Endgame. It was set after. So we know in the movie. Or in Spider-Man Far From Home. Between if you look at it. Think about it a little more. The Secret Invasion movie we watched. Which was really good by the way. I think Secret Invasion was excellent. I thought he had a great espionage storytelling. Um, I love and a lot more sympathy to the scrolls and the villains, and kind of a uh, the series kind of created like a scroll scare, like the Red Scare back in. Um, Way back during the Cold War days, which I'm going to get into something about that later on in, in the next video. So, in the the movie, we see how this movie is based on the light-based energy. Based on Monica Rambeau, Captain Rambeau energy, and then... The, Captain Marvel's energy. And we see there's a drama. And I love how there's a drama that they put. They put this in a, in a family drama themed setting genre in the movie. You think about it. <clears throat> if you get your time to watch it, it's a good movie. It's not as horrible and bad as everyone thinks. If you think about it very clearly and you think about like, how could they all... both exist in with both of them with base light base energy I love how they made it where it's they have different energies of light powers and um, yeah we see a very different Monica Rambo and we see her have issues like Mommy issues with Captain Marvel. If you think about it, because she, because Captain Marvel is technically her mom in this gay relationship that they have, that she had with Monica's L Lieutenant Trouble's mother. And I like how they did that. I actually love that Captain Marvel movie. I think it's better. Um, it's set in the same decade that I was born in, actually. Uh, which was fun. Which was fun to see block, but the blockbuster movie where Captain Marvel landed. I, oh my gosh. That took me back to when my dad and I, we would go buy, um, movies at the movie store and rent them. And I'd watch movies or TV shows, whatever I want. Sometimes not really. Um, but, man, that movie take me back. But The Marvels is a very family 
drama oriented, kind of like similar with um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 was a family drama, only this time it's based on relationship. Like, they are literally related in a way, because with the light based powers and <sighs> Miss Marvel. Ms. Marvel. I love the comic book version. I loved the Avengers version. I know people do not like the Avengers video game as much as I do. But I think it, if it wasn't, if it was a single player movie or a single player video game, it could have been better. Um, but the Miss Marvel we got in the TV show was not the one I read in the comics. And I say comics not because I read Miss Marvel a lot. I didn't. But I read her in Spider-Man Miles Morales comic books. I, so I did technically read her and boy does she have a fun relationship with Miles Morales which I wish could have happened <clears throat> with a crossover between the Avengers video game time period versus the Miles Morales time period I wish there, there could have been a connection there in Spider-Man 2 which is a great video game so Spider-Man 2 is an excellent game, but I do think it has its bugs. I did love the video game, if you noticed. Miss Marvel in the movie is fun. But they really should have made the movie blend better. Or expanded the movie instead of making it an hour... And 44 minute movie. They should have made it a two hour and a half movie. Expanded it. Maybe. Delved the characters more. And did a better reason. The woman who plays. The villain. In the Marvel's movie. Is actually the wife. Who is married. To Tom Hiddleston. A.K.A. Loki. Fun fact there. She plays a great villain. But I do think with a little more extension of how these light powers are blended and explore more, I bet we're going to see more if Miss Marvel 2 comes, season 2 comes out. Yeah, see, I'm not a huge fan of Miss Marvel. The comic book version I read in the Miles Morales comics, she's a lot more fun. She's a lot more entertaining. She's really heartbeated. Not so much of annoying little childish. Which, honestly, the video game adaptation... The Avengers video game adaptation is way better to me than the uh, TV show version they made. I'm sorry. But for anybody who is Muslim, I'm sorry. I really am. But if you read the comics... She's way more fun. If you are someone who's not a girl, and because the because the problem with me reading the Ms. Marvel, I did read them, but the problem for me is I'm not a girly girl. It definitely has a girly girl vibe. So, to me, reading Ms. Marvel in the Miles Morales comic books, it gives me a much more fun, blended. Let me get into. Ms. Marvel and the friendship that she has with Miles is a lot more fun and a lot more entertaining. 
than the one she is in the Miss Marvel show. Oh my gosh. That version. Oh, Captain, my Captain. You screwed up big time. 